Well, opening statements are set to begin this morning in Lower Manhattan in the Donald Trump hush money trial. A full jury of 12 people and six alternates have already been seated. Meanwhile, an appeals court judge rejected another request from Mr. Trump's legal team to pause the trial. They wanted the case moved out of Manhattan outside the courtroom now. The former president complained about the gag order Judge Juan Mershon uh, put in place. The gag order has to come off. People are allowed to speak about me, and I have a gag order. Joining us this morning with what we can expect in the coming days, criminal defense attorney, former prosecutor, Arthur Idala. Nice to have you back. Pleasure's all mine. So uh, can Donald Trump be quiet and, and not, you know, it's in hard. trouble? I mean, look, it's very hard. I've, obviously, I've been in that position. And especially if you want to, you know, proclaim your innocence and you're used to having the microphone and now you can't even, I mean, he got in trouble for whispering too loudly to his lawyers in the courtroom. And he's going to hear open statements today he's going to hear prosecutors make all kinds of accusations and it's just human nature to jump up and be like that's not true or, but no that's not going to happen uh opening statements obviously <clears throat> very important in setting the tone how does it weigh in like the final verdict it's huge it's a great question rosanna um that i believe it was the new york times did a study of jurors and 80 percent of jurors said that their verdict after they in their mind after they heard the opening statements was their ultimate verdict huh. so it is huge the defense has to come out strong and say that you know attack cohen attack stormy the prosecutors have to come out and admit to their flaws and say but you're not going to need to rely on them because you're going to have documentary evidence and you're going to be able to rely on that and there's going to be a little bit of drama a little bit of passion and you well there should be and you want to be able as the lawyer to relate to those jurors so that they don't want to let you down in their ultimate decision. Hey, what, what do you make of the fact that this jury is made up of, of so-called professionals? There are a couple of lawyers, tech guys, financial people. I mean, people that would tend to, you would think, lean towards, you know, fact, hard data, and not really be swayed by political arguments. Well, Kerry, you know what's so funny? I, you know, I try cases all over the place, mm -hmm. and, like, when you go to Brooklyn and the Bronx, that, that is not the makeup of the jury. Mm -hmm. And I think that actually hurts President Trump. You know, someone asked me the other day, like, who do I want on the jury? And my answer, my genuine answer was someone who watches Fox 5, a real New Yorker, someone who's been waking up with Rosanna and, and going, you know, for, for a long time, uh, an MTA con conductor. They're just, they're on the opposite side of the spectrum. They have lawyers, accountants, financial people who... Um, I know I don't think they're going to lean in the direction of President Trump, but I, this is my prediction on the day of opening statements. I don't think you're going to get 12 people to agree one way huh. or the other. I think you'll have some real people on both sides that, that just dig in and hang strong. We do have lawyers and financial people to watch the show. Just, <laughs> just for the record. I, right? I, I kind of like lawyers. Just, you know, just for the record. But, 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 I, maybe but, they don't. You, but I don't like them on my jury. I don't like them on my jury Why not? because they're bringing uh, they're bringing too much baggage in. You want jurors who who are as clean as possible. I, another juror I would want is where do you get your news from? I don't really watch the news, you know. I'm so busy. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I look at my phone real quick. I see what's going on on Facebook, and then I move on. That's the juror I would love to have had, but I don't think they got one of those. No, they Man, no of, I think they have one. A lot of New York Times readers. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Sid. First of all, just to be clear here for the record, you've never represented the former uh, President no, Trump. No, rep my firm represents Rudy Giuliani in the case in Georgia. We represent Rudy Giuliani trying to get his law license back. Mm -hmm. Rudy Giuliani, in my opinion, saved New York twice from crime and from 9-11. I represent him proudly for what he's done there and when the trump organization called and asked us to represent the president i was afraid it was might going to be a little bit of a conflict representing mr giuliani and mr trump okay i got to ask you about some of the witnesses that may be called because yesterday i was reading is this true michael avenatti who's in jail who, re <laughs> yeah. who represented stormy daniels wants to uh, testify on behalf of well, uh, he, Donald yeah, Trump? He, volu he, he volunteered his services. Look, you know, he was her lawyer. You don't know what he has to say. Um, if I'm on the Trump team, I at very least talk to him. I want to hear what he's, what he's got to say. He could say something helpful. That would be interesting. Do you think you Stormy got... fooled around with a lot of people besides Donald Trump? Well, I think that was her job. 
Right. Well, I mean, that's the, yeah. the accusation. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Karen. Yeah, I'm you just correct like, me if that, right. that was yeah. kind of her job. Oh, we got to right. find out. Like she fooled around with a lot of people. I wouldn't be surprised if you know you heard those things. But I mean, th if you look at the cast of characters. As a Brooklyn prosecutor, I, you know, I had drug dealers, I had convicted murderers, but here you have really, you know, a lawyer who is convicted of perjury, who, who's convicted on the facts of this case in federal court, Michael Cohn was. You have Stormy Daniels, who I believe is listed now as a, a porn producer, um, <laughs> you know, and then if you throw Avenatti in the mix, I mean, the movie that, that's going to come out of this thing this is, is going to be, be fantastic. This is going to be good, and no cameras in the court. No cameras in the Georgia case that we're involved in. There are, the judge has, is allowing cameras in the courtroom, but I, I'm okay with no cameras in the court. It's a little bit of a distraction for everyone when there's a live camera there. Hey, you know, a lot of people are wondering, in this case, you know, how the prosecutors are going to prove it? Because correct me if I'm wrong, they've got to prove basically two cases. That they're, they're there correct. is, a, a, they're, you know, uh, um, the payment which the payment then led to election mm -hmm. interference, which is illegal, but you got to prove point A before you prove point B. You're absolutely correct. And point A is going to be a lot easier, I think. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Messing with, but, but then again, they have to show that Donald Trump knew. And I have no problem telling you, and maybe you guys have been in the same position. Like when my accountant gives me paper and he goes sign here, I don't know. I don't even know. I'm not looking at it. Every line, I don't even understand it. If your lawyer says, Mr. Trump, you know, give me, I gotta write a check for this or that. And some of them was when he was already president. President. And he may, they, they may be able to prove that he didn't exactly know what it was for. And one of the witnesses has already testified that the money was not only for Stormy Daniels, it was also to pay Michael Cohen's legal fee. And for part two of that, if some of that money was used for something other than being president of the United States, they fail. So it's not an easy case for either side, and that's why it's going to be a great trial. Trump says he wants to testify. If he's your client, would you let him? <laughs> Trump's going to testify as much as I'm coming on here next time wearing a toupee. Okay, because <laughs> okay, that it's is not going to happen. Hap well, if he I'd listens, like to see that, if he though. listens only on April Fool's Day, if he listens to his lawyers, he's not testifying. I mean, look, the first question of Donald Trump: Did you ever have sex with Stormy Daniels? Right? If he says yes, he's in trouble. If he says no. He may be perjuring himself. And if he says he doesn't remember, the next question is, is so how many porn stars have you had sex with, Mr. Trump? So, I mean, I, I don't see Donald Trump taking the stand. Arthur Idella, always... Fun stuff! You know, the thing that is, you can't tell where Arthur stands. You know what no, I mean? No, no, exactly. <laughs> well, it, it, it's clear he's in one quarter, which is why I wanted to make sure well, we got I'm, on the record. Well, listen, I'm a pro I was a prosecutor, yeah. so I can see it from their point of view, and I'm a defense attorney. I can see it from that point of view. One thing everyone's got to keep in mind, though, this is an E felony. It's the lowest of low of low. So when they're like, I mean, I can't imagine the judge is not going to allow him to go to his son's graduation right. in any other E felony with a defendant who's never been in trouble in his life. Life and uh, criminally, a judge would always say, of course I'm going to let you go to your kid's graduate. Right. Now, if it was a, a felony killed someone, that may be a different story. There's no victim here. I mean, there's, there's, so there's no complaining, crying. Right. So I hope he gets to go to Barron's graduation Arthur, for Barron's sake. Right. Arthur Idella, thank you so much for coming Thanks on. Thanks for pronouncing my name the right way after 40 years. I yeah, really appreciate that. I know him that. forever. It's, it's a Brooklyn thing. <laughs> anyway, got to go, Arthur. Pleasure gotta... being on with you, sir. Yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. All right.